Court does call the case. People versus Sonia McLean. You got it. We, we clear in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you set up? Uh, get first. Oh, hi. Sorry. Are you working? Yes. <laughs> All discovery is complete. That's the mission. Hey, this is B3. <laughs> Mr. Brown has asked me uh, a couple times for any videos in this case. I've sent um, multiple emails to YPD requesting any audio or video. They probably unresponded to. Um, so uh, there may or may, I don't know if there is any video or not. But but uh, my request for any video has gone unanswered. I have no issue with setting it for a PE. If we, something turns up, we'll cross that bridge and get it. He can dismiss <laughs> Well, I realize. Is there a reason to believe that there is video? Yeah. Okay. And the people have, re you requested, Mr. Brown, people have requested a YPD and they just have not. They're ignoring I'm used to that. But... I guess Mr. Tiller, to the extent that they're not, there's no response, is that? The response is not that there is no video, there's just no response. <laughs> then if- I suppose if, if the court wishes, I could uh, elevate my email to see if my email command staff, if they may respond, I don't know. Um, it's certainly one shot. Uh, if we want in, in an effort to keep the case moving along, I can stand at the end of September, and I can well, I don't know why the it's one thing if there's an issue getting discovery. It's a whole this is a whole other realm yes. where they're not responding to a legitimate discovery request. Um, it, it, and, you know, and I'm not trying to disparage any department, but the last time I ran into this was with YPD. <laughs> and I ultimately ended up dismissing the case. Um, all right, here's what we'll do. She, wanted, she wants to say something with her law degree. Yeah. I don't think she does. You, you, the people around you are doing just fine. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set is so as not to impact the defendant's rights. I'm going to set the preliminary examination. Mr. Brown, prepare an order for my signature that directs that YPD is to turn over all video. I will set this examination for the 17th and it's the fourth. So I'm gonna need it right away so that there's time, but that they're to turn over all video to the Washington County Prosecutor's Office by the 11th. And if they then, that will go under my signature. That way, if they then fail to do what they, what I'm ordering them to do, then the court will take appropriate remedies. Thank you. From a logistical standpoint, uh, once that order is signed, would you like for me to send that order along to my PD? Yes, you, yes, please. Um, so, um, Preliminary examination in this matter. 
Well, we'll indicate discovery is not complete. But preliminary examination in this matter will be set in person September 17th, 2024, 9 a.m. That will be before me. And then the bond will continue. Now, given all of that, ma'am, is there something you wanted to say? She was trying to leave and go to the, um, get on the bus, and there was some contact. So we had to contact Pittsfield Police to make a narrative report that she was not in violation of any court orders. I have a copy of it if you'd like. Uh, hold on. Just would like to be able to get on the bus. Hold, hold on, hold on. You got you to gotta catch me up because I'm. That was today. No, that was the last last time. Twenty second. Twenty second. This is Morgan Capote. Just hold. Just hold on. Okay, you're good. Okay. So, well, I just want to make sure I'm I'm clear. You got on the bus. You were okay. You, but in any event, you ended up on the bus. Right. <laughs> All right. Hey, but hold, hold it. Just, just, just hold it. Just hold on a moment, okay? And then, at some point, the alleged victim in this case came into contact with her. Yes. As I'm to understand, based upon what you said, Mr. Brown, she then contacts the police. She right. comes back here and asks for my advice. So got it. That's it. I don't want to know what you two discuss. But out of that, there then is generated a report from Pittsfield. Yes. Got it. And so your concern, ma'am, is that somehow the court may try to hold you responsible for that contract. Okay. Let me. I have not seen the report. I do not think that I need to see it. Okay. The, I'm going to make a presumption as to the advice that Mr. Brown gave you. I think that that was absolutely appropriate advice. And should the issue arise, then I would review that report and I would take that all into consideration. All right. But at this point, I am not going to do anything. I don't have a complaint that you've done anything. I do, and so I'm not going to make one. Fair enough? I need time to get on the bus again. Not leave out and get. Okay. All right. Listen. Just listen. Mr. Brown gave you advice. Okay regarding a situation that you had, I guess, last time that you were here, right? So it would seem to me, would it not, that should you leave and that same or similar type of thing happen, that you would then follow the advice that your attorney gave you? And I kind of indicated to you at this point how I'm looking at it, okay? I know it may worry you, but I think Follow what your attorney is telling you. All right? Okay, anything else you want to yell at me about? Not what? I don't want to have the same issue that happened last time I was here. And you asked Ms. Morgan to sit and wait for it. No, no. Okay, hold on. Where is Ms. Morgan here? Okay, you need to sit down. No, 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 no. All right. So you need to get on the bus. Okay, stop for a moment. Ms. Morgan, do you need to get on the bus? Yeah, the bus has video. Did nothing happen. I got off the bus. Okay, I. The bus has video. She's lying. And I'm going to presume you both take the same bus. I don't have a okay. 
I wish you would stop yelling up here at me. Mr. Feaster? I'm not going to ask you to drive anybody, so don't tell me. <laughs> no, I'm just, so, okay, here's the thing I do not know. And I'm going to maybe potentially embarrass myself. I have not taken a bus. <laughs> I, I, well, no, I don't. I, wow. Wow. But I, I just I just haven't. And so I know that when I get on a bus or when I did. But it was so long the dinosaur was pulling me. But anyway. <laughs> Um, it just took me downtown and I had to find another bus and I just told myself I'm not doing all that. So, uh, <laughs> that's why it, it's my limitation. How often do the buses come to where you would have to pick the bus up, get the bus every 15 minutes across the street. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. You, this time around, you get the first 15 minutes. Remind me the next time, then you'll get the first 15 minutes, and then you got to wait and take the next bus. Huh? Oh, so now you took up all my time. Now you want to leave. <laughs> no, go, go, just go. That's what we're going to do. You go. Don't get up, Miss Morgan. Do not get on that same bus. Do not get on that. That's fine. I don't want you both on that same bus. Then you report that to the prosecutor's office. They will raise. Change it. Right. Okay. So I will just say this, Ms. Morgan. When it is raised before me in a proper way by the people, I will deal with it, much like I would said I would deal with her issue. But right now, I want you to take the next bus. The next time around, you'll get the first shot at the bus. She'll wait. Thank you. 